for 25 years, the first Saturday of every month, I lecture live, have lectured live here, called the Director's Lecture Series. Period. What I have to say this afternoon affects not only this year's topics. This year's topics have to do with creation has answers. Two months ago, I lectured in the morning and David Bassett, associate, lectured in the afternoon on creation has answers, deep time in deep space. How do you solve the mystery of the distance to starlights in a young earth, biblical, scientific context? Well, that's not the lecture today, but you can Check our website and on the YouTube from our website, you can get that entire lecture. Last month, creation has answers, the origin of the universe. Does creation really have the answer to the origin of the universe? Yes, creation has answers. One of the things about our creation scholars, researchers, our creation scientists, and many of those creation scientists visit this museum. One of the things is they do thorough work. It is not just an attitude, well, the Bible says it and I believe it. Well, the Bible does say it and the Bible is absolutely correct. But fortunately, creation science, or and fortunately, Creation science can independently verify specifically what the Bible said all along. Most people believe the Bible is just a book of religion. Well, it is a, it's beyond religion. It's a relationship with the Creator Himself. But what most people do not know is that the Bible is saturated with a matrix of scientific statements from astronomy to geology to biology, to oceanography, to anthropology. The Bible is interwoven with a matrix of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of scientific statements. Not a single one of them has ever been disproved. Many of them, essentially all of them, far beyond the science of that day. Our science is only now catching up to most of these. We have a list of those at the back. You may want to take a photograph of those, a list of many of those. If not, Henry Morris's book, The New Defender's Bible, which is the Bible with notes. Henry Morris's book, The New Defender's Bible, which is the King James Bible with an appendices of all these notes. It's available on the net. Has a list of all of the scientific disciplines having been established by creationists has a list of hundreds of scientific statements in the Bible, all verified as being true, and has a list of hundreds of technological inventions like the computer invented by creationists. So the Bible is a book of science but it is primarily a book of relationship with the Creator, far beyond science. Let me talk to you about science for a moment. The Bible has no errors, but is science fallible? Science depends on our ability to discover, to analyze, to catalog, to experiment, and to predict. I need someone to repeat that to me. Science depends on our ability to discover, analyze, catalog, experiment, and predict. Well, who's doing the discovering and the analyzing and the cataloging and the experimenting and the predicting? Science doesn't. Science is just there. We are doing it. We are fallible. Therefore, science is fallible. But the Word of God has been demonstrated to be absolutely infallible. For instance, the atheist, the Madeline Murray O'Hare's, and some long decades ago, I debated Madeline Murray O'Hare on KMOX radio with five million people listening. 
That was long years ago. Uh, the Madeline Murray O'Hares of the world select certain passages to criticize. We're going to deal with one of those this afternoon scientifically. It has to do with fire breathing dragons in the Bible. <laughs> Does the Bible teach fire breathing dragons? Yes. But isn't that myth? They point to that passage and say, therefore, it's illustrated that the Bible is myth, so you can't trust any of it. If you can't trust Job 41 with a fire breathing monster, you can't trust Genesis 1, 2, and 3, and John chapter 3, verse 16. That's their whole point. Well, creation has answers. The topic this afternoon is creation has answers, dinosaur contemporaries. We're going to talk about two creatures that lived with dinosaurs. <laughs> 